So here we have an oil boiler, right? An oil boiler that it run out, of, run out of oil. So after my dad replace got the oil replaced, the boiler was on lockout, right? So when it's on lockout, you're gonna see that red light. So once you have the red light on, you will attempt to start the boiler and it will not start. So right here, you're gonna have to bleed the bleeder screw. There's a screw right here. That's a bleeder screw. That means there is air in the, the system. And with air in the system, it will not ignite, right? So you will press the red button to, to, to start it and it will start the motor, but the fuel and the motor will not mix to ignite. So we had a lock wrench right here, adjustable wrench, or you could have the right socket that fit the bleeder screw right here. You're gonna open it, all right? Open this right here. You're gonna set the catch can. We open a one gallon uh, water bottle here to catch it. Um, and you're going to go back and press the red button and it will prime the unit. Once you prime the unit, right here you press the red button it will prime the unit it will shoot some fuel from the bleeder screw right once it shoots some fuel, fuel from the bleeder screw you're going to tighten back the, the bleeder screw and right here as you can see we got it started so that's the flame that you're seeing right there but if it does not ignite and start you're going to repeat the process because that shows that there is more air in the system Right here, you can see the boiler been off for a while, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to warm up. But if it ignites, you're gonna to have to keep an eye on it. If it goes back out, you're gonna to have to repeat the process.